Hi friends, welcome back. So Tesla, RoboTaxis, Elon Musk, we've got to talk about it. <laughs> There's always drama. Uh, Tesla, uh, RoboTaxi unveil on 8-8. That is a tweet coming from Elon Musk. So I guess August 8th is your day when we get to see these crazy new RoboTaxis, whatever they got, they're probably going to show us. Um, this is an interesting timing because uh, Elon Musk was tweeting out just five hours before this uh, that Reuters is lying, right? What are we talking about here? So first Reuters is lying. And now we're like tweeting out robot taxis are coming or something. Um, I, I encourage you to watch this video that I did uh, just recently. It's called uh, Tesla Model 2 Cancelled. We go over uh, the recent article by Reuters. Basically, Reuters said that the, the, the crux of the article was is that Tesla is going all in on robot taxis. Um, what's so crazy about this whole thing is that Elon Musk's line doesn't say how. And then he kind of affirms <laughs> the article by Reuters by emphasizing the robot taxi thing. Um, if, if Elon Musk really wanted to uh, disprove Reuters, he would instead tweet out, hey, we're going to be showing you the $25,000 car, but he's not doing that. Elon Musk is actually, again, reaffirming Reuters by emphasizing the robotaxi, which was the crux of the article at Reuters. So <laughs> I don't know how the cult's going to read this one. You guys can let me know in the comments. It's so ridiculous. Uh, but I want to share some thoughts on the robotaxi thing and also to understand uh, anytime that Elon Musk is tweeting out something that this is Elon Musk. He's probably, you know, the drink in his hand and, you know, going, hey, RoboTaxis, bye bye RoboTaxis, you know, that kind of stuff. So that's your dude, that's your Elon Musk dude, that's your hero right there. Uh, let's go on. So uh, I was just checking out the uh, Tesla website. Um, it's going to be, I guess, the Cybertruck available 2025 if you're ordering a new one today. So, you know, this is something that that is a common occurrence with Elon Musk and Tesla. They, they'll, they'll promise you something. Uh, it comes in late and comes in more expensive than I actually promised. So uh, if, if the uh, RoboTaxi thing came out following Elon Musk, you know, 88, maybe they're going to show you some sort of vehicle. Uh, you know, it could be cardboard. Who knows? Uh, maybe they got, uh, you know, some robot uh, guy uh, in the suit, right? Wearing a robot costume, driving whatever cardboard thing. They're going to push the thing out or it'll be dragged down on stage. Who knows? Uh, the fanboys will tell you that it's all awesome, etc. And then uh, five years later, something will show up and it'll come up 10 times the original cost. So <laughs> that's, that's my that's my prediction. And that's based on what we've seen in the past with Cybertruck. Um, if you guys think I'm just making random stuff up, uh, where's your Roadster? Where is it? Where is it? Um, well, if you want one, uh, good luck. Uh, you got to put in a $5,000 credit card payment, then a $45,000 wire transfer 10 days later. So basically you got to give Tesla uh, 50K uh, to reserve one, uh, who knows when they're going to come. They've been promised for years now. Uh, moreover, uh, what about the semi? And, and, and the reason why I have to go over this stuff is because, again, when Elon Musk tweets out something, don't expect it to be here, uh, like, right away. Um, they, they, again, they can roll out whatever they want in terms of, like, on stage, but can actually make these things. Um, I mentioned this, the, the uh, semi because I was kind of curious, like, how many of these things that they made. Uh, recent articles, this was back in June 2023. Uh, maybe they've made 36 in three months. Uh, this was... Uh, back in October 3rd, 2023, uh, I guess they've made about 70 of these things. So let's be generous. Let's say they've made 100, right? Or whatever, something like that. Um, that's a far uh, cry from the thousands and, and you know maybe millions of these things that they were promising. <laughs> right? I hope you guys understand this. Um, and here's the other thing too with the regarding the RoboTaxi situation. Um, you know, the, the Tesla fanboys and fangirls, they, they like to act like that. Tesla's the only you know company in the world and they're gonna dominate everything. Um, I wanna show you this. Uh, I showed this before in the channel, but for many people who've never seen this before, um, this is actually um, an interesting chart showing uh, the, the market share in China regarding uh, EVs. Uh, so you can see here BYD is doing really well at 32%, uh, but even they don't have over 50% of the market. They don't have you know anywhere close to 100%, which is like, again, you, it's really hard to dominate this kind of a market when there's so much competition. Tesla is here at uh, 8.4, and then you have a lot of competition, guys. Uh, even in the the headline, of the article says out of 129 brands, uh, only 20% uh, have or the 20, sorry, only 20 have more than 1% market share. Uh, so meaning that um, there's a really, really, really a lot of competition. You can see it for yourself in this chart. Um, now, can Tesla dominate the I guess robo taxi thing? Um, well, you know, they're going to have to fight against Waymo uh, and, and not just Waymo and other competitors. I'm just using Waymo as an example here. Um, you also have to go against uh, governments, meaning that how are you going to get this thing approved? Now, I will say that um, here in Korea, we actually have had these things for a while. 
uh, they're basically buses, right? So, or what do you want to call it? Mini buses, uh, bigger golf carts. <laughs> um, and, and they're actually been testing them. So these are autonomous buses are like this. They're not using Tesla products, right? The, the reason why I'm pointing this stuff out is that even if Tesla can do said thing, uh, you have to get people to buy said thing. Um, I think the, the higher chance of, of these things going to operation would be like something like maybe Disney would use them at their theme parks. Just for example, this kind of vehicle or you know maybe like at a baseball stadium or whatever for like a shuttle bus kind of situation or a city may buy it to be in a closed loop. Um, I'll, I'll give you an example here. So um, this is something that, that we're working on. This is the headline here is in Seoul. Again, this is in Korea. This is just recently 2024. Um, they've been testing these things. Um, they've been doing it early morning, like around 3 and 4 a.m. And they, they have essentially a bus lane. So this is like your regular cars and your buses are over here. And, and this is one way you can get this robo taxi stuff to work uh, is if every car on the road or that particular lane is all using the same software, the same vehicle, and they can communicate with each other. And again, this is all in a controlled condition because they're going to be driving separate than regular cars. And also, you know, could be going slow and just under different set of circumstances than just your regular car. Again, in a situation of like a bus, yeah, it might actually work. Um, but is it is is it going to be that um, you know this is going to be widespread right away? It's I think I still think we're a long ways away because um, whenever there's any kind of accident, which would happen with the Waymo situation, you know, when someone gets hurt, you know, everything goes on on hold because. Whenever you introduce a new technology and someone gets hurt, right, that this is a lot of concerns because there's so much liability. Um, the other thing is too is that it's not just Korea. Uh, China has been testing these kind of things. This is uh, Guangzhou. This is a couple years ago. This is um, they said they had level four. Um, I don't think Tesla is anywhere near this, and this is through their FSD. Now I understand that the fanboys and fangirls will all tell you that you're all going to be rich. Uh, having your robot taxis, etc. <laughs> and and, and here's a question I pose to you. So, you know, let's say you're going to buy your, your Tesla or whatever. Um, do you want a whole bunch of strangers in your car? Uh, is that something that you want? And, and, and think about this. You're not going to be in the car, right? So let's say, uh, you know, you want to take your Tesla and you want to go Uber the dang thing. Like you're driving the car, you got people in the car. And, and if you, you know, have people in the car that like are doing drugs or pooping in your car or whatever they're doing in your car, you just kick them out, right? Uh, with the robot taxi situation, like how are you going to kick out unwanted guests in your car? So I think this whole idea of, you know, one, uh, and everyone's going to, you know, use their car to, to make all of this money and have strangers in your car doing whatever they're going to be doing. I, I just think that's ludicrous. Now, you know, uh, let's, let's forget about that thing, okay? Uh, let's say that the robot taxi is going to be sold to you know governments and Elon Musk is a genius, etc. Um, <laughs> the thing that's crazy about this is that Elon Musk has been tweeting out pol political stuff like all day, every day, and um, it's basically alienating one party and siding with another party. So the, the ironic thing about this too, as well, is that the party that he's been siding with, which is the more Republican party, uh, that party tends to be more oil friendly. Uh, if you disagree, please let me know. But that's my understanding of basic politics in the USA. <laughs> Republicans tend to be, you know, Texas, oil-friendly, uh, uh, you know, uh, politicians. And it's kind of funny that, you know, Elon Musk is siding with the people who uh, wouldn't be so friendly to his uh, model of electric vehicles and clean energy. So go figure. Uh, moreover, since that particular party, which is who Elon Musk is siding with, uh, are the gasoline, you know, type people, uh, they, <laughs> I don't think they want public transportation. Uh, it, it hurts their, their business. Um, now, to, to be fair to Elon Musk, uh, Robotuxi sounds really fun, sounds really cool. Um, I, I mean, like I said, I, I think in closed loop situations, uh, like, you know, Disney or, or you know, separately in, in the city government, et cetera, um, there will be some sort of market for that. But can they capture that? That's why it's important to bring up this other stuff. And I'll ask you this very simple question, guys. Um, Elon Musk and, and Tesla, they said, hey, we got the semi truck. We're going to change the, the world with you know electric trucks, semis, that is. Uh, how many of these are on the road? And are they dominating the uh, semi truck uh, market? Uh, I already showed you some uh, proof uh, that essentially they're not really making that much of these things. Um, and moreover, if, if you see these things on the road where you live, please let me know. Uh, please take a picture of them. Uh, you can send it to me and say, hey, I saw 100 semi trucks on the road. They all have Tesla branding on it. They're awesome. Uh, or another one example, um, if, 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 you know, if I'm saying anything incorrect, if, I, if, if you know, you've seen roadsters on the road, Tesla Roadster, if you've seen a whole bunch of these things on the road, 
you know, please send me photos of, of you know, video of you saw, you know, all these people drive around the roadsters and everyone's buying it. <laughs> please do. <laughs> Same with the Cybertruck. Please send me that you see all of these Cybertrucks everywhere and everyone's got one. Um, and, and this is part of the, the, the thing that's so funny about this stuff is, um, you know, people idolize this guy and say he's a genius and he's so awesome and so rich, et cetera. And, and you know, you all kind of want to be just like him. Um, there was a really fascinating article that came out recently. And um, this was just a couple days ago. Uh, this is, um, I'll read the headline. It says, all billionaires under 30 uh, have inherited their wealth research fine. So what does this mean for those of you who, who can't read? <laughs> I'm so mean today. Um, uh, it, it basically means that um, chances are uh, the very, very ultra wealthy were born into it, right? Uh, Elon Musk is no exception. Uh, his, his dad had emerald mines. His mom was a model. I, I, I read through his book. I've read through Elon Musk's stuff. Um, if you guys may or may not know this, uh, Elon Musk and I went to the same school. He's a little bit older than me. We know a lot of the same people. Um, and I'll pose this question to you. <laughs> why, 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 why so much love for people who were born rich? Like why? I, I, I don't get it. Um, and, and, I, and my personal opinion on this stuff is I think there's a lot of people who have no exposure uh, to these kind of people. So, so they, they don't know. And, and, and I understand that if you don't know, you don't know. I, I get that. And that's why I'm telling you that I think it's ludicrous to admire someone because they were born rich. That, that's just my opinion on that stuff. Um, but if you want to admire people who are born rich, by all means do that. And a lot of people do. Um, I remember growing up as a kid, uh, all these people were, were, were you know, so admir uh, admiring of the royal family in Britain. Even today, there's like always gossip about the royal family. It's like these people were born into that you know, situation. So like it, it's... You know, what can you say? <laughs> so you either understand this headline or you don't. Um, I, I know I'm being a little mean, but I, I, I just feel like when, when you're when you're talking with people regarding these subjects is that people have this like reality distortion field. Um, you know, my my opinion of Elon is that he is, is really good at, at selling stuff. Right. Um, whether or not he's good at uh, delivering the stuff that he sells, you know, remains to be seen. Um, I've, I've just showed you a couple of products that just aren't uh, bringing you the goods. Um, moreover, even if you know this whole Tesla Robotaxi event happens, and, and let's just say that it does, I promise you right now, he's, he's on the phone, on the emails, on the Twitters, whatever, with all his you know, employees saying, hey guys, uh, we, gotta, we got this event, we gotta do it. And, and like they're, they're probably like, oh my God, what, what does Elon crazy guy wanna do now? And so now they probably have to like change all their schedules around because this is probably spur of the moment kind of thing. Um, and, and now they got to like come up with some sort of prototype to show people. So they have, I guess we're in April. So was it May, uh, May, June, July, August. So I don't know, three months, something like that um, to uh, come up with something. And uh, they'll pull with the wheel it out on stage. Like I said, it'll be something cardboard or whatever. They'll pull it out. They'll put some guy in a robot costume and uh, we'll see what they got. Um, and then after that, uh, are you going to be able to buy it? Probably not. Um, like I said, uh, it's the same with the, the, the semi or the cyber truck or whatever. Um, you know, you can promise something. The promises are easy, right? Talk is cheap, but actually having a product come out and then be profitable instead of product, uh, they're still a long ways away. Uh, and then not only do you have to have that the product actually work, and then you got to get through government approval, uh, which was, again, a long ways away. It may never happen. Um, why? Uh, because you're taking away people's jobs, right? Um, if you're going to, you know, turn everything into robots, you're, you're taking away people's jobs. It, it's just a reality. And, and if you're a politician, because you have to approve said, you know, kind of purchases of whatever vehicles, you have to say, okay, is this, is this something that, that I want to do? And I want to do, I want to take away people's jobs. You're going to have, you know, taxi unions. It's a real thing. Taxi unions are a real thing. Um, you might like in New York city, uh, when, when, you know, they introduced, try to get introduced Uber there, all the taxis were protesting, et cetera. In many cities, um, the airport situation was an interesting one. There are taxis that were protesting, you know, whether or not you could take an Uber uh, to the airport. Um, it, it, it's a, it's a, it's a change. And um, moreover, you know, this kind of stuff, again, if anyone gets hurt, the whole deal is off. They're going to pause it again, et cetera. So I think we're a long ways away uh, if ever. And also too, I mentioned this several times, Elon Musk is 52. Uh, how much longer can this uh, charade go on? <laughs> is, and the reason why I'm showing you his health is it's like, I mean, it matters, guys. It matters. And it matters what kind of substances you're on, et cetera. And um, these kind of things, when, when your CEO is like tweeting out kind of spur of the moment, you know, uh, announcements of 
new events is pretty ridiculous also um, because if this was planned it would have no correlation to the timing of the Reuters article this is clearly a you know response to that um, usually companies don't behave in this way like for example Apple has a regular event that they do every year they say hey you know this is the iPhone event the next one's the MacBook event and they have the developer event like they have these regular events and, and it gives their employees like how can I say a, a schedule a timeline a standard way of, of doing business that everyone can get on board with not just sort of like spur of the moment hey we're gonna announce something and, and and then literally behind the scenes they're like drawing up stuff and putting together cardboard <laughs> that's what's going on so that's my thoughts on this stuff I it, the whole thing's silly uh, thanks again for watching everyone this is uh, unfortunately <laughs> the guy who who's behind said Twitter uh, so I gotta, I'll talk to you guys later and uh, catch you next video